Hi, welcome to this edition of the Whiteboard Wednesday. And today we're going to talk about external monitors. And so external monitors, there's a couple pieces to it. First, what is an external monitor? Well, an external monitor is a monitor script that you put into the file system that then Big IP references from the monitor configuration under the LTM uh, menu item. And what they're useful for is that it gives you some flexible and extensible ability to use any command line tool, such as a SQL client or a WMI client um, or uh, things like Netcat and curl or dig, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. And so uh, where it exists on the file system is if you are pre 10.1, it is in user bin monitors from 10.1 to 10.2x, uh, 10 I think 10.2.4 is the last, but anyway, in the, in the remaining 10 versions on uh, TMOS, it is in uh, config monitors. And then once you get to 11, it actually exists in the folder system. So it's uh, config, file store, files underscore D, common underscore D, external underscore monitor underscore D, and then all of them uh, exist in there, of course, if that's in the, um, the common uh, partition. And so uh, anyway, uh, best practices for an external monitor is kind of along the rules of using an eye rule. Don't use one if you, if you don't have to. Forking an extra shell is expensive, and if you're doing that for one pool member times whatever, it's an expensive operation. So if you don't need it, don't use it. If you do need it, then it's a great tool. And so if you're going to use them, you want to optimize them. You want to make sure you're using the smallest tool possible with the simplest request possible and parsing the least amount of data when you get it back. So uh, another uh, thing with using an external monitor uh, relates to uh, authentication. If you ha you're using an app that requires um, authentication, you want to make sure that the app allows multiple logins because if you're going to log into 50 pools at the same, or pool members at the same time and it only allows one login, well, you're going to get a lot of failures. And so uh, if we look at how you configure the, the monitor it, like a standard monitor. The only, there's a lot of other options like your interval, your timeout, like, like every other monitor. But the ones that we're going to focus on today is uh, the arguments. So the args, we have one argument here, devcentral.f5.com. But that's not really true. We actually have four arguments. Argument zero is the name of the file. Argument one is the IP and argument two is the port. So the third argument is the one that I've provided here. Now, if I had a list of arguments past that, then it would you know, increment the number of arguments. But in this case, we have a total of three arguments. Now, uh, defaults from external. So when you select it, you create an external. It's going to default from external. And then it's going to run common DNS check. That's what I named it when I uploaded the script. When you upload the script, you're actually going to do that in the file system. So you're going to go down in the, in the system menu, and then uh, you're going to uh, check the external monitors, and there's a place where you can import your script there. You can also do it through TMSH. But anyway, when you do that, that's where it's going to end up in the file store in your configuration. So the DNS test monitor that we configured is actually going to reference this script. Now, this is actually a very small section of the overall script, but it's what's doing the work. A couple things to note about an external monitor is if you put any standard output, then it will mark it up. Doesn't matter what that, that is. Everybody uses up, but any output. So you could do something silly. You could say down, even though it's going to mark it up, or, you know, uh, my name is Inigo Montoya, you kill my father, prepare to die. You could do any kind of standard output, and it's going to be successful. So you, you want to make sure that you don't have a, you know, if this is um, equal to zero, go ahead and mark it up because I didn't get any status, uh, but you don't want to have an else in there saying echo down because again, any output will be a successful monitor. I think I've beaten that in enough. Um, but the other thing to, to note about external monitors is internal to the big, IC, big IP system, everything is IPv6. So if you're using an IP4 pool member, you need to strip off the IPv6 prefix. So it's just a, you're echoing the IP and you're doing a, a, you know, a match and you're going to strip off that prefix from the IP. And then in this particular monitor, we're using a dig command against the node IP, which is the pool member. 
And we want to resolve this argument, this devcentral.f5.com, we're gonna resolve that uh, address. And then we're gonna send that to dev null because we don't want that data to return and mark the pool member up. And so this should return nothing if it's successful. If it fails, then it won't echo up and it'll mark the pool member down. Pretty self-explanatory. Well, a lot of extra data in the wiki. If you look for external monitors, there's a couple tech tips that I'll reference in the notes for this video on external monitors. So thank you for joining us for this latest edition of Whiteboard Wednesdays.